Thank you for joining us for the world premiere of Wanting Memories. I'm Allegra Madsen, the Director of Programs at the Bayview Opera House, and I am joined by my colleagues and collaborators, and I'd like to introduce the Push Dance Company Artistic Director and Choreographer for the project, Raisa Simpson, the San Francisco Girls Chorus Artistic Director, Valerie St. Agat, and the Executive Director of the Bayview Opera House, Barbara Ockel. Uh, Wanting Memories is an original short film featuring the San Francisco Girls Chorus Premier Ensemble and Chorus Essentials and Push Dance Company with the Opera House serving as the connective tissue and providing the technical backbone. Uh, this project is tangible evidence that creative collaboration thrives even when we cannot be together physically. Uh, near the beginning of our city's shelter in place order, we all came together as a group with an idea to develop a work where the component parts were performed in isolation, but, be could, but could be sewn into a cohesive artwork, reminding us all that together we are greater than the sum of our parts. In this spirit, I'm hoping that each one of my late amazing collaborators can speak to the importance of the Wanting Memories project and at, at this moment and the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration, particularly when our communities need to isolate. Um, Barbara, as you are directly to my right on my screen, I'll hand it to you if you could introduce yourself a little bit and talk ab about this collaborative pro uh, process and bringing this all together. Thank you, Allegra. Yes, so I am the director of the Baby Opera House and responsible for continued operations at that community culture hub. So when we were ordered to shut down in mid-March, I was going, oh my God, what do we do? We were right in the middle of producing Rasa Simpson's dance piece, The Motley Experiment. We also had the girls course going, a flagship program we now have. And I was thinking, well, what are we going to do now? We have these things that require physical girls and physical dancers being in our space, interacting with their teachers and learn about the arts and experience the arts. That was no longer possible. So as our staff shifted to morning Zoom meetings, each from our living rooms or bedrooms, I thought, well, let's see what else we can do on Zoom. We had no idea really what would be possible, but so I reached out to our collaborators, Valerie and Reza, and said, well, here we are, we can't be together. Is there anything you can think about doing? And Valerie came back right away. Oh yeah, I have this song and I'm thinking about doing this. And uh, Reza was saying, well, maybe I could add some dance to that piece. So now without much further ado, I would like our artists to speak about that. Reza, do you want to explain how you did this piece? Sure, thank you, Barbara. Um... I just want to thank the cast. I was told that there would possibly be about 50 to 60 different people in this video, and it turned out to be true. Um, it just turned out to be bigger than I had imagined. So um, the collaboration, it had changed over time. Um, initially, you know, with the show turn place, it was really hard to tell if Push Dance Company was going to be in the video, um, but it happened. It really happened and it was really amazing. So um, I had a great time. I was extremely, extremely nervous. I mean, really nervous about working with a curl group. And what I found out was that, um, you know, we have different disciplines, dance and chorus and singing. However, we're performers in the end. And it was really lovely to watch these young women um, grow and just turn into <laughs> performers and dancers. So I, as a choreographer, this is my first time choreographing on Zoom. And would I do it again? I'm not sure. But um, I had a great and amazing time just working with this particular group. So it inspired me to really stretch myself as an artist. And with that, I will hand it to Valerie. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Raisa. And I, I, I'd like to thank also Baby Opera House, Barbara. Thank you for, you know, just making this connection. I think for all of us, it was just the first. And for me, what was important was to make sure that our singers would keep 
uh, committed and would keep being excited about their art form. And so I've always been interested in collaboration with dance, uh, and which is pretty unusual in the choral world. Uh, but it's, it became even more essential with the Zoom meeting uh, format, just because I realized that those singers would be able to just stay in this, you know, in this format without moving and without and, and losing the the idea of the space and losing the idea of their body. And if you want to be a good singer, you're not just singing with the sound and your throat, your vocal cords, you need your entire body. So it was just great to have this opportunity to, to welcome Raisa uh, in our rehearsal. Raisa came actually twice a week, uh, half an hour each time uh, to, to train our, our singers and just to see them, how, how they, they made progress. Because what, we, what is new for all of us is just to realize that we are facing this camera all the time and uh, we need to develop our, a new way of expression, not only for the face and, and body. And uh, so the entire adventure was, was just wonderful. Thank you for, you know, just uh, try it, you know, trying it. It's, uh, it's wonderful to have fearful collaborators like that. Um, what I can also say, I can say a word about the music, the, the song Wanting Memories is written by uh, the composer, Dr. Barnwell. And um, I, I've been so moved by this piece. Uh, Dr. Barnwell is not only a wonderful composer for the voice, she's also working uh, with uh, the community in general and developing how important the voice is for each of us. And we, we most of the time don't realize how powerful our voice is. Uh, and, and so having her uh, being part of this project is wonderful, especially now when we know with all those things that are happening around us, music, art is the, the space where we can be unified. And, and it was really important to me to bring this project to, to life. So thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Reza, Valerie, Barbara. Um, and thank you out there for joining us. Um, as Valerie mentioned, like this, this project I think is the beginning and we are looking forward and we are, our, our minds are turning and there are just so many ideas out there just waiting to be built into beauty and we are going to do it. <laughs> thank you so much and enjoy wanting memories.